In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Batcaddy XAR electric cart review and whether or not it's worth picking up. So what we're covering in this video are my first impressions, how it actually performed, how the quality was, pros and cons and also where the best places to buy. So if you just are looking for the best and cheapest place to pick it up, I will leave a link down below at the time of the video if that was the best place we could find it. So let's start with my first impression. So this is a premium electric cart from Batcaddy and it's one of the ones we actually tested when we were looking for the best electric golf cart. And it's got a middle of the range price tag on it um, compared to other electric carts, it's somewhere in the middle. Um, and it also seems to be pretty well made and also pretty durable as well. The main thing I liked about it was that it was super light, so it was about 22 pounds. When folded down, um, it was also a lot smaller than some of the other carts out there, which is awesome as well. How is the build quality? So when you're paying up for an item like this, you're going to want to make sure that it's built well and it's something that's going to last long term because if it doesn't, there's really no point in paying up for it. So we want to make sure that it's going to be a good quality. Um, and I didn't have any problem with the quality of the XAR and it was actually quite a bit better than some of the other ones, some of the other competitors. I definitely found that it was quite a bit better. Um, some of the other carts use a lot of plastic and it normally ends up breaking. Um, after a period of time, but it was nice to see that the back caddy um, used as much metal as possible so it was sturdy, it was something that's going to be durable and it probably going to be something that's going to last a long time, right? It's also super light and it was also nice and compact when folded down. How is the battery? So one of the most important things in an electric cart is the battery. Um, it's going to basically function, it's going to last um, you know, at least a full round if not more. Some cards had batteries that kind of sucked, um, but the X8R actually had a lithium battery. Um, and it's going to last a full round and then some. It has um, two different options. One is going to be like, you know, a 1.5 to 2 rounds, and then you can also upgrade to um, a more expensive battery, and that'll actually last longer. But um, we just had the kind of the, the, the basic one, and it definitely lasted at least one and a half rounds, which was plenty. Um, the battery is supposedly supposed to last about 500 plus charges. Um, we haven't had it that long so we can't confirm that but that's what they say um anywhere from like you know 500 to 750 in that range which is which is a pretty good amount right so overall the battery seems great and you can always push it if it does stop working for whatever reason um that's completely fine as well how did it perform so over the past few weeks we tried and tested multiple different electric push carts some were a lot better than others um, the XAR wasn't perfect by any means, but it was definitely better than a lot of the other ones and it was a solid product. It was easy to use, um, the battery worked great, and it had plenty of power to get up pretty much any hill on the course. That being said, I did find that it wasn't as sturdy on hills as some of the other ones. Um, I found that it had a bit of a higher center of gravity, so um, if the hill was too steep or you know you, you, you were going um, on it a little bit sideways, it did seem to have a bit of a higher center of gravity and um, it does have the potential to you know tip over if you're on a really steep hill um for for the majority of hills it was it was fine but um on some of the courses in my area there are some pretty steep hills and i wanted to test it out um and it was a little bit um, a little bit shaky going up and down and sideways across the hills so that's just one thing to note but other than that um it was pretty good um you know durability was good um and all the other performance things were completely fine on it um, pros, um, the cart was really well made compared to others. I found it easy to use. The battery was a lot better than others. And then it's light and compact. Okay, so cons, it's not the cheapest cart on the market, um, but it's not the most expensive either. It's kind of middle of the range. And then it wasn't as sturdy as some of the, the other ones out there. Um, but overall, it was fairly good. Um, pretty much everything else was, you know, a thumbs up for me. That was kind of the only two um, issues to it. Frequently asked questions, so what is the battery size? So it comes with a 12 volt um, 20 h lithium battery. Um, does it have the follow function? Um, no, it does not. Does it come with rear tip wheels? Yes, but they weren't the best in my opinion, but they do come and they do help a little bit. The breakdown performance scroll give it an eight. Price scroll give it a seven. Durability scroll give it a 10. My personal score was 8.5, which is pretty solid. Okay, so is it worth it taking into account all that? I would say this is one of my favorite kind of middle of the range electric carts and I would definitely recommend it. It's not perfect by any means but it is an improvement over the old X3R and I found it to be a lot better than some of its competitors on the market. And the cheapest place I could find this product is in the description down below. At the time of the video that was the best place we could find it so you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want to go ahead and do so. 
and I will just mention our monthly golf giveaway if you want to enter in. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, comment giveaway down below, simply do both and you'll be automatically entered. Alright, so that's going to be for the video. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.